Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Here it is, uh, once again, it's Council Monday. Uh, what's really great about this council meeting is we don't have a storm <laughs> coming with that we're preparing for. Um, in fact, this past weekend, we really had some beautiful weather. One of the things we're gonna do, I think is very appropriate, is October 28th is First Responder Day. So we're gonna present a proclamation recognizing and honoring our first responders. Our public works personnel are also first responders when it comes to a disaster. They're the ones who hit the streets first to get out there and clear the roadways to make sure our EMS, our fire, and our police can get to where they need to be. We're also gonna talk about a sale agreement for the, the sale of a piece of property on Sammy Watkins Avenue. Uh, it's a three bedroom, two bath, single family home. We're making it available to some people who are in need of housing. This is part of our efforts to make housing more available. Hopefully, we're putting someone in their first home. Sidewalks that are painted, uh, benches and the pavilion mural installation. Uh, thank you to the Fort Myers Mural Society. We closed it down about a year ago. We put in pickleball courts, new basketball courts, but we also put in new playground equipment for the children. So this is the uh, finally the, the compilation of a lot of different improvements to Lions Park. Amending the budget for the fiscal year 2025, uh, this is going to allow for some capital improvements in and around the Edison home. Spruce up the Edison home with irrigation, landscaping, burying the utilities so the power lines will go underground. And this is very important because, you know, the Edison Ford Winter Estates attract a lot of people throughout the year. FDOT Trail, the Trail Network Program Agreement between the Florida Department of Transportation and the City of Fort Myers. As you know, uh, we've, we've got a, the John Yarborough Lineal Trail that runs south from Colonial. And we are gonna extend that over Colonial with a walkway, an elevated walkway, and then continue that trail where it will hook up and connect with some other trails in the city. And this is part of a much bigger program throughout the entire state to make more trails accessible to our residents. Uh, the good thing about this is a majority of the cost for this is coming from the Florida Department of Transportation. It's not coming out of the city's budget. Thanks again uh, for watching. Uh, if we don't see you at the meeting tonight, uh, hopefully you'll be watching on Comcast Channel 98 or streaming it.